Just in time for the holidays, we get an absolute belter of a firmware update from DJI for the Mini 4 Pro. And you're kind of left wondering just how much more they can pack into this amazing little bit of kit. Uh, vision assist, landing protection off for hand catching, uh, active track 360 full auto mode, and controlling the Mini 4 Pro with the motion controller too, and the goggles too. Absolutely mad. So doing my best to keep this one very short. Let's go through what you get, how to get it, and what to do with it. Hello, I'm Ian and I play with drones and yes, here I am in my new setup. Uh, been a busy few months moving house down at the south coast and obviously setting up the new studio, but pretty much all done now. And just in time for Christmas, my favourite little model, DJI Mini 4 Pro, just got a little bit better with the latest firmware from DJI. Uh, firmware 01.00.0300 has just been released and it comes with an absolutely crazy amount of updates, including additional photo capabilities, enabling digital zoom on still photos and multiple burst shots in 48 megapixel still mode. But it's the other four key new functions that I want to focus on today. Vision Assist, Active Track 360 Auto, Downward Vision Assistance Off, and support for using the Motion Controller 2 and the DJI Goggles 2. So first off, how are we going to get the uh, Mini 4 Pro up to the latest firmware? Uh, first of all, turn on your remote control. Make sure it's got Wi-Fi switched on and it is connected to the internet. Then power up the Mini 4 Pro. If the update prompt does not appear automatically at the connection page, you can prompt it by going over to the three dots, top right, then across to the About tab, then scroll down to the firmware information. Press the Check for Updates link and it will guide you through updating the aircraft firmware. You're also going to need to make sure that the remote control of the RC2 firmware is up to date too, and you can do that at the same time. And whilst you're at it, probably want to get the motion controller too and the goggles too updated if you have got those uh, as well and to be honest you might find things easier to get everything updated by using DJI Assist too. It's a computer program you get it down from DJI.com for your laptop or your computer. Also try and use the USB cable that came with your Mini 4 Pro. So it can be a little bit fussy uh, or slow to connect if you don't use the original cable uh, but uh, I had a bit of fun with that but yeah use the original cable you should be good. Either way uh, make sure you've got good batteries and patience because it can easily take a good half hour to get everything up to date. But once it's all updated, you can go through the new functions. Start off with a quick and easy one, Vision Assist. Uh, this is a really cool little feature. It was introduced to the Mavic 3 models uh, a few months ago, and it's the live feed from the obstacle avoidance cameras on the drone itself. You get to it by tapping the bottom right symbol on the little map uh, or radar tile on the bottom left. Once you're in, you can tap the small screen to swap the main camera view with the Vision Assist view, and then tap the little arrows to swap the feed from each of the four directions. Now, you might be thinking its usefulness is actually a little bit limited, but it's actually a brilliant way to see where you're going if you're filming a piece that involves flying backwards or sideways. Uh, bad things can happen easily if you're not looking where you're flying. So this new feature can be really useful if you use it in the right circumstances. <laughs> that just might be one less tree you hit. Um, next up. Great new feature for Active Track, Active Track 360 degree auto mode. This brings a whole new dimension to Active Track, allowing the drone to change its orientation and position around the target, and you get a really dynamic and varying view of where the drone can start off following you and then swing round and be looking at you from in front and then carry on onto the side. You can access this uh, new uh, feature. You just uh, tap and drag around the subject. And when you see the green box, you've got the target acquired. You then get the little active track menu pop up and you can see here on the left, the new auto option alongside trace and parallel. If you tap auto and then tap go, the drone will start following you, staying focused on you, but also moving its location or position relative to you as you move. So you, as I say, you get some really nice varied clips without having to keep touching the control pad, which I think will make a far better end result. It will move around from the side and follow you, varying all the time. So absolutely brilliant new function. Next up, another quick little bonus, the ability to turn off landing protection. Now, this is normally on for your flights and it helps the drone know and slow down when it's approaching the ground. It also helps the drone uh, work out whether or not the landing spot is appropriate for the drone to land on. 
But at the same time, it can often make hand catching or uh, landing on cars, for instance, very difficult. So now you've got the ability to turn it off for the current flight. Just tap the three dots top right, stay on the safety tab, scroll down to advanced safety settings, and at the bottom, you get the option to turn off downward vision sensors. Now, this pop-up appears and you need to take heed because it's gonna change how the drone lands and it will not slow down when it approaches the ground or wherever it is you're trying to land on. And even though you've just been warned about it, it will still catch you out as happened to me here when it hit the ground and then bounced up again. So again, it's one of those functions that's useful to know. Just watch out, you don't smash your drone into the ground or car, wherever it is you're trying to land when you're using it. And finally, a uh, long overdue feature is this Goggles 2 Motion Controller 2. Yes, the latest update now extends the Mini 4 Pro to be fully controlled by the Motion Controller 2 and gives you a full FPV uh, perspective, if you like, uh, when using the Goggles 2. Now, to get this working, as I said, you're going to have to make sure that the goggles and the controller are both on the latest firmware, as well as, of course, as the uh, Mini 4 Pro. So again, that's where DJI Assist may well help you out. After you've done that, you're going to need to pair the controller to and the goggles to to the Mini 4. So get the Mini 4 Pro and the controller powered on, then long press the power button on the Mini 4 Pro to get it into pairing mode. And you'll see and hear the beep and you'll see the lights change and the like, so you'll know it's in pairing mode. Then do the same on the controller, long press and you'll see the lights change. After a few seconds, both should make another beep and pair up. Then you're gonna to need to pair the goggles as well. And uh, to do that, what you wanna do is power up the goggles and navigate to the side settings. So inside the goggles, you're actually gonna be navigating to status. And at the top, you're gonna see the switch option. Enter into that screen and you can now scroll down through all the possible models until you get to the Mini 4 Pro. Select that, and then you're gonna be ready to pair. So again, long press the Mini uh, 4 Pro's uh, power button to get it back into pairing mode again. With the goggles though, it's not the uh, battery power that uh, you press, it's actually a tiny little pairing button in between the lenses on the inside. Again, you're gonna hear the beep and you'll hear another beep when they pair up. And then you're good to go. Using the motion controller is a very, very different experience and I'm kind of assuming you'll have already used it, but if not, I'll put a link up to another video on the basics of using the controller and the goggles too. Um, it is pretty much the same as uh, using it for the uh, avatar. And my advice is very much find an open field to get the hang of it before you start being a little bit more adventurous with it. And so look, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover today. Uh, absolutely love how much they are packing in to this tiny little model. Um, but uh, anyway, now you know the four main new features of this latest firmware update and obviously how to get them. Uh, for me, I have to say, probably the uh, Active Track Auto is probably the most useful function. But um, as ever, let me know your thoughts below. I always love reading the comments. But either way, look, hopefully this has helped you uh, in getting it updated and uh, getting a little bit more out of the Mini 4 Pro. So if you're happy with that, give me a little thumbs up. Always helps the video along. Till next time, have fun, happy flying.